Now, like I said, I'm here now with the general manager of Smart Bus, Dwight Farrell. Good morning, Dwight. Thank you for being here with Thank us. Thank you. So, what are some benefits of taking the bus? Because gas prices are high right now. Well, i tell you what. The first thing is obviously you save money, uh, not only from the gas point of view, but wear and tear on your car, maintenance, all of that. So, it's a great option uh, as opposed to owning a car. And a lot has changed, you know, with the pandemic, and maybe it's been a couple years since someone has taken the bus. Uh, any big changes that you would want to let riders or someone new that wants to take the bus know about? Well, yes. Uh, we have uh, much better real-time information out there. There's Transit app, there's Apple Maps, there's Google Maps that allows you to be able to access our schedule, see where our buses are, real-time information. So we're trying and continually trying to make it easier for people to be able to use the bus. And I know with Google, it's really cool what you can do is you can find the smart bus, but you can also find maybe a connecting bus, that's exactly. a D dot bus, exactly. and make your life a little bit yes. easier. Yes, and so we have, uh, we have a, a, an app that allows you to be able to buy your fare and transfer between smart and D dot. And that's the Dart app. That's the Dart, that's correct. And then of course our service to the disabled and then on top of that, one of the big things is, is that we're piloting in four zones within our area, micro transit. So basically it's like Uber for, for smart. So you have an app that allows you to be able to get a bus that comes at the end of the block or in front of your house and use this about a 15 minute wait and takes you anywhere in that zone. Yeah, they are like little Ubers. I've seen those before. They're almost, they look like minivans. Yes, they are. they are. The, uh, they have the smart flex. Yep. And so they're a little like Chrysler minivans. They're accessible. So And some uh, of them in the Dearborn area, that's Troy correct. area, Macomb yes. County area. Yes. So, uh, and so we're looking to expand that as we go forward uh, into 2023 okay. uh, to be able to make that more available to more customers within our service area. Well, Dwight, thank you for those updates. Thanks for letting our viewers know what they can expect while taking the smart bus. But in the meantime, we're going to send it back into thank the you. studio with Keenan and Alicia.